Oh, friendly greetings, internet friends. It's the ever excitable Torley here and showing you CFXR. This is for Mac, but if you're in Windows, get SFXR, which this is a port of. What this allows you to do is make glorious 8-bit video game sounds. And if you're no good at dragging these little slider kind of thingies, you can hit random to rapidly generate a whole bunch of crazy sounds, taking you back to the yesteryears of the NES, the Commodore 64, the Atari, ah, and whenever you want, you can export it to a WAV file and then you can process it with outboard gear, or whatever you have available. Lovely, lovely if you're a indie game designer or if you just want to get your nostalgia groove on it. Eh? So this play thing, it additions a sound and I can adjust, see, I just clicking and dragging here. It has a, a, a more brutal, a shorter attack. So it starts like that. If we move it way up, it will grow in. Like, uh, you can hear that. So we can change the waveform type, of course. Like that. And the noise one will go ch -ch -ch -ch, Or something like that, which is cool for wind or swishing noises. We can adjust the frequency. Now I wish that this could loop easier, but we see we can have something more ominous and foreboding. We can move the playback volume. It's kind of weird because it gets really, really loud there. Be very careful with your speakers and your hearing. Okay, let's phase it, I think. <laughs> A lot of fun as you can hear. Uh, let's see this. Very, very cool. If you ever want to, you can generate a quick batch of ones and you can rate them. This is interesting because even though it shows stars, it's actually you click and drag. It's a smooth thing and you can sort them then by which ones are your favorites. And if at any time, like I showed you before, you run out of inspiration, just hit the random button for more. 8-bit magic will be in the palm of your hand. So check it out. CFXR. Glorious retro gaming sound design.